Hey YouTube! So as we all know, last night, 10th of February, was the 2013 55th Annual Grammy. And what an amazing show it was. We had some amazing red carpet fashion, some amazing performances, and some really good, well-deserved top winners. Um, I've thrown this video together for you guys to have a quick little summary of the Grammys, the 2013 Grammys. So if you missed them, stay tuned for all the inside information and all the inside scoops. So starting off with some Grammys red carpet fashion. First up, we have Adele. Um, we've seen some new colours from Adele this time, usually she's always wearing black. She was sporting a nice red floral dress. Um, she looked very pretty, I thought, and very girly. This is the first time I've ever seen these colours on Adele. And she really did rock, rock the red carpet for me. I really was impressed with what it was with Adele's outfit. Outfit number two of the night was Beyonce, which is right there. Um, she looked stunning, as always. Beyonce is absolutely gorgeous. But however, the outfit was a little bit of, the let, of a letdown. She was, sport, she was sporting like a black and white cat suit, and I kind of felt that it was too plain for her. I was expecting a nice extravagant gown, but she, she looked gorgeous at least. And number three on the list, we have J-Lo. J-Lo looked absolutely gorgeous. For me, she was the second best dress of the night. Um, she was um, sporting a nice... Uh, long black frock gown um, that she was sporting the Angelina Jolie um, leg as well she rocked it really well I thought um, when she had her little interview she showed us in the manicure cam that she had some really long um, gold bling nails um, she looked gorgeous what can I say JLo looked absolutely incredible take a look at her there um, again in the interview as well for all the JLo fans out there we have new JLo music to look forward to so Number four, we have the one and only Justin Timberlake making appearance from a Grammy's red carpet. He looked very dapper. He was sporting a suit and bow tie look, which I really like on him. He looked amazing. Um, nice to see him back. He looked very chic and great night. Glad he was there. Number five, we have the one and only Katy Perry. She was wearing a nice long baby green dress with a lot of bead accessories at the top. She looked gorgeous, very amazing, but I think the one thing on everyone's mind is her boobs. Seriously, this dress heightened her boobs. But I mean, go for it. She's got them. She might as well show off her best assets. There was Katy Perry, looking gorgeous. Number six, we have Kelly Rowland. Kelly Rowland looked hot. She looked fierce. She was wearing a black cut print dress, which was cutting out different parts on her body. Um, she was told, said in an interview, did you receive the memo about not showing too much skin? But I don't think she cared. She looked flawless. She looked amazing. She definitely, for me, did outshine Beyonce, and usually throughout their entire careers, Beyonce has always outshined Kelly Rowland as being the top member of Destiny's Child, but for me, I thought Kelly Rowland took it. She looked absolutely fierce. Number seven, gracing the Grammys red carpet, was Taylor Swift. Now, this was a standard white gown. It was typical Taylor Swift trying to go for the innocent white look. Um, she looked okay. I mean, I was... It's just typical Taylor Swift to me, like, I don't know what to say. Um, am I the only one who thinks she looked too skinny? Um, just saying. Just saying. But, yeah, there's Taylor Swift. And finally, number eight, with gracing her presence on the red carpet, was Rihanna. Rihanna took the top spot. For me, she was the winner, she was the best dress. She looked absolutely flawless. She was sporting a gorgeous red, long, flowy gown with bright red lips and long, curly brown hair. It is the best I've ever seen Rihanna look in a very long time, and she really looks classy, really fierce. What can I say? She looked amazing. Just check her out there. She really did look gorgeous. Well done, Rihanna. So there we have my little top picks and a little bit of a review of the um, Grammy um, red carpet fashion. Um, let me know what you guys think down below if you agree with disagree with anything that I've said. Um, I'm going to move on to like the top winners um, of the Grammys that, um, tonight. I'm going to go pretty quickly um, because there are quite a few and we'll be here forever otherwise because we all know how long I like to speak. But yeah, Album of the Year went to the album Babel by Mumford & Sons. Congratulations. Record of the Year went to Got Ye, someone that I used to know. Um, brand New Artist went to um, Fun. Um, Song of the Year also went to Fun with We Are Young. Um, pop categories, um, the best pop vocal album and truly well-deserved winner, Kelly Clarkson with Stronger. That album was flawless. I'm so glad she won that category. She deserves another Grammy in her forte. She looked, Kelly Clarkson looked gorgeous as well. Um, her acceptance speech was so sweet, really sweet, very humble, um, very deserving winner. Um, pop performance went to Adele, set fire to the rain. Best pop duo went to Gautier. 
Um, moving on to the rock category, best rock album went to El Camino by the um, Black Seas. Well done. Um, alternative album went to Got Ye again, second um, Grammy winner for Got Ye with Making Mirrors. Um, R&B album um, went to Black Radio, um, the album Black Radio by Robert Kras the Robert Kraser Experience. I might have got those mixed up. Sorry if I did. Um, best rap album was the album Take Care by Drake. Well done, Drake. You actually did deserve that. Um, rap performances, both best live performance and duo performance went to for both um, awards went to both Jay Z and Kanye West. Well done to both of you for winning both Grammys. Um, and Best Country Album went to Zac Brown Band, Uncaged. Well done. Um, there was also winners um, such as Beyonce, um, Skrillex won Best Electronic Album and Best Dance Album. Um, well done to everyone who, that won. We had some amazing winners this year. Top um, winners and very well deserved, especially Kelly Clarkson Stronger. And to wrap up my Grammys 2013 review, we have the performances. Opening the, two, uh, the 55th annual Grammys with We Are Never Getting Back Together was Taylor Swift. She had a nice little Wonderland performance going on. I don't know if anyone noticed, but when she said I still love you, she said it in a British accent. That was totally a Harry Styles dig. This is going all around Twitter, this is going all around the internet that it was. It, it was pretty blatantly a Harry Styles dig. Um, but we know Taylor Swift writing music about boys that screw her over, so what did we expect really? Um, we had um, a very um, um, smoking hot performance by Miguel and with Khalifa with Adorn. Um, a lot of the celebrities that night did comment on how smoking and sexy it was. Um, Tilly Clarkson also said in her um, acceptance speech that she wanted to work with Miguel because of how sexy that performance was. Um, we had um, a performance of Suit and Tie um, by Justin Timberlake featuring um, Jay-Z who also came on stage and performed with him. Um, it was a nice black and white 50s feel um, performance, which was a nice little touch to the performance. Um, um, a nice little medley of Daylight and Girl on Fire, um, Maroon 5 and um, Alicia Keys. Great medley of both their voices. They were amazing. I loved how they put those two songs together. I thought it was a great little touch. Um, we had a solo performance from Rihanna with Stay, obviously her latest single out. Um, it was a very stripped performance, a nice Parthenon set with lots of Parthenon statues in the background. It was very raw, her vocals were flawless, I thought. It, I think it was one of the best performances of stage she's ever done. And she changed, she changed into a nice slender black gown and she looked gorgeous, as usual. Great night for Rihanna, really. Um, we had a Bob Marley tribute um, with Bruno Mars. Sting, um, Damien and Ziggy Marley and Rihanna, second performance of Rihanna of the Night for a nice Bob, Bar Bob Marley tribute. Nicely done. And we had a performance from Frank Ocean as well. Um, those were the top performances that have been reported and it was a great show. I'll put links to some of the performances if I can manage to find working YouTube links for them. Um, I'll put them down below so you guys can check them out. So there you have it. There's my um, 55th annual Grammys review. Um, it was a great night. Lots of well-deserved winners. Lots of great um, and memorable performances. And lots of amazing and gorgeous fashion from a lot of the top celebrities on the um, Grammys red carpet. Um, let me know what you guys thought of the fashion down below. I want to know. Let me know what performance was your favourite. And let me um, and also let me know um, whether you thought a lot of the winner whether the winners were well-deserved. Um, I personally do. I definitely think the best pop vocal album definitely should have gone to Kelly Clarkson. She deserved that so much because of how hard she worked on Stronger. It is a flawless album and it deserved it. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys thought of the 55th annual Grammys this year. Let me know down there in the comments. I want to hear it. Um, yeah, unfortunately Gaga wasn't at the Grammys this year, which was pretty sad. Um, but she's busy working on the Born This Way ball trying to finish the final date, and working on Art Pop to try and get it to us as soon as possible, so we can't complain. Um, hopefully we'll see her back next year with some nominations, and we see her back next year on the red carpet with some amazing fashion from Gaga. We haven't seen her in public for a while. But yeah, there we go. Again, let me know what you guys think down below, and thanks for watching. Um, rate, comment, and subscribe, and give me a thumbs up if you want to. It really does mean a lot to me. Um, and I will see you guys, as usual, in another video. How smoking hot did Rihanna look? Seriously. Hey everyone, welcome to the end of my Grammys video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, let me know down below what you guys thought of all the fashion and the performance and everything I want to know. Make sure you let me know. 
Um, you know the drill by now, just recapping some of my old videos. Over there is my art pop um, conspiracies video if you haven't seen that. Over here is, have you, are you guys going to the Born This Way Ball? Over here is my um, Born This Way Ball survival guide, check that out because you'll find that very useful. And yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. As I said, check out these two videos as well if you haven't already. Um, again, keep all, the re keep all the suggestions coming, I want more suggestions for what to do for future videos. Um, it really keeps me on my toes and it really helps me interact with you guys more and give you guys what you want. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching as usual, thanks for subscribing, it really does mean a lot to me. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like my videos, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye!